And the leadership of the Jaw Social Cultural Organization believes that the Petroleum Industry Act is yet another stopgap mechanism that may not necessarily stop the agitations in the Niger Delta. This was revealed at the sixth inaugural lecture of the Federal University Otoke. Joseph Kunde has more on this. 65 years after the discovery of oil in commercial quantity in Nigeria, the Niger Delta has repeatedly experienced series of oil spills, thereby making Nigeria to rank in the top 10 of most polluted environments in the world. Although President Mohamed Obari has since signed the Petroleum Industry Bill into law, there is still cries of neglect by leaders of the Niger Delta. At the sixth inaugural lecture, themed right in next door to Shell, Oil and Environmental Rights Discourse in the Niger Delta at the Federal University of Torque, Professor Chris Onyema believes agitations may continue. The Petroleum Act is yet another stopgap mechanism. The agitation continues. It is not over until it is over. Okay? What I do not preach is violence. But we can still come back to the negotiation table. Both the so-called Biafran agitation and the Niger Delta agitation are one because they are caused by the same genie and that is injustice. When they talk of clean up action, it is never, never possible. What we can have is remedial action because the kind of destruction we are talking about is deep, quite deep. So what we can do is to continue to agitate by way of negotiation. Remember, it's better to jaw jaw than to war war. Also, the president of the Ijo National Congress, Professor Benjamin Okaba, reiterates their position on the Petroleum Industry Act. When you own a land, you own whatever that is gotten from the land. All these obnoxious policies must go. The PIB is a slap on our people. It's unacceptable. We reject it in its totality. And enough is enough. At the time we shall explode, no one feels us irresponsible. They have pushed us to, 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 to extremes. They have pushed us beyond a place to have, can, with, uh, the that we can bear. We can no longer bear what is happening in this country. Most oil producing communities find the international oil companies culpable, but incidents of third party interference or sabotage cannot be completely ruled out. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua.